The West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, along with other Trinamool Congress leaders, have held a protest at, a, at an assembly premises at the assembly premises in front of the B.R. Ambedkar statue against uh, what they say has been the non-release of funds from uh, the uh, Manrega scheme, which they say is due to them. This comes at a time when the Home Minister Amit Shah has been in West Bengal. I'm now joined by my colleague Saurabh Gupta, who's uh, at this protest site. What exactly has the Trinamool Congress been saying, Saurabh? Well, you know, it's been a day of heavy-duty politics in West Bengal. First, the Union Home Minister Amit Shah targeting West Bengal Chief Minister and Trinamul Supremo Mamata Banerjee, saying that his party wants a two-third majority in 2026, but that has to begin in 2024, and West Bengal should send as many MPs to Parliament in the BJP so that the Prime Minister can say that I have become a Prime Minister because of Bengal. That was the Union Home Minister, of course, taking on the TMC on corruption, on, uh, you know, saying uh, that, you know, the TMC has even, uh, TMC MP has defiled Parliament. But, you know, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee and the TMC Supremo is no one to actually take any of that lying down. So, of course, she responding in uh, the form of politics that has rewarded her the most, uh, the protest politics. And she's, of course, here on Dharna with all the TMC MLAs, as you can see, in black, protesting with her. The Chief Minister also sitting there. And on this Dharna, in front of the B.R. Ambedkar statue, demanding dues that are pending, according to the TMC, for West Bengal. Now, the Union Home Minister, of course, denies that claim. He presented an accounts of sorts of how much the central government has released. But the TMC says a lot of dues have been withheld. Dues that are... Uh, from the taxes that are collected in the state. The Chief Minister spoke in the Assembly first and then of course the Union Home Minister was here, not very far from here. And then of course this dharna where Mamta Banerjee herself is also sitting and taking part with all the TMC MLAs dressed in black as a mark of protest and on this dharna here. So yes, a day of heavy duty polit politics. As 2024 elections come closer, you will see this kind of politics increase given the fact that West Bengal is likely to be a very, very hotly contested state as far as 2024 is concerned and not just 2024, even perhaps 2026, which the Union Home Minister also, also brought up in his speech. All right, thanks very much, Sora, for sharing those details with us. A little bit, a few more details. The Home Minister Amit Shah has been in West Bengal addressing a rally. He's hit out at Mamta Banerjee. Amit Shah says that our workers have been killed. The BJP's workers have been killed for revenge in Bengal and that Mamta Banerjee doesn't allow any development to take place. I say हमारा भाई से बढ़कर होता है भाई से बढ़कर होता है कार्यकर्ताओं की हत्या की है देश भर का और पूरे बंगाल का एक-एक कार्यकर्ता इसका बदला लेने के लिए तैयार है आप मेरी बात याद रखना 2026 में जब चुनाव होगा तब मालूम पड़ेगा कि किस प्रकार से किस प्रकार से राजनीतिक हत्या का वोट देकर बदला दिया जाता है मित्रों इतने सारे भ्रष्टाचार हुए हैं कि संसद की पवित्रता को भी त्रिमूल कांग्रेस के सांसदों ने समाप्त कर दिया बेटे लेकर सौगादे लेकर सवाल पूछने वाले सांसद और वो पार्टी बंगाल और भारत का भला कर सकती है क्या बंगाल का विकास Modi ji ki sabse badi prathmikta Bengal ka vikas hai. Hume ek aisi sarkar chahiye jo Modi ji ko vikas karne ke liye anukul bhumi tayar kare. Mamta Benerji Modi ji ko vikas nahi karne deti hai. In the winter months, there are a lot of migratory birds which come to Bengal. So in the same way, there was another migratory species came to Bengal today will fly out in a few hours not a word from the Home Minister of India and the number two in Modi's cabinet about one not a word about how there'd be more jobs for youth 
Two, not a word about price rise. And three, not a word about Manrega, where Bengal workers who've finished working in Bengal still haven't been paid by the union government.